Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys this project that I've had in my head for a while. Um, it didn't turn out exactly the way that it <laughs> it came to mind and that's only because I am no artist. As you can probably tell, I haven't painted in I don't know how long, but I did want to do this project on canvas because I knew the canvas would be sturdy enough to support the florals. And so this is just basically kind of like a 3D floral arrangement where the vase and the um, cloth that the vase is sitting on are painted and of course the florals are faux florals you can also do these with real florals um, if you would like to see how i did this project please stay tuned So I got these uh, 11 by 14 canvas, uh, canvas panels. There's two in a package for $5 at five below. And I also got these pearl acrylic paints from five below as well. It uh, also came with a brush. I got these packages or this package of brushes from Dollar Tree and a compostable paper plate that I'm going to use to put the paint on. At first, I thought I was going to do a blue vase. But I decided with the colors um, of the florals that I was going to use, I decided to go with the pink. And again, these paints, these acrylics have a pearlescent finish to them. Uh, again, guys, I am no artist. Um, I'm just doing this all freehand. I wanted to do sort of a mason jar kind of shape. And... Um, so I'm just, I'm just kind of going with it. Um, like I said before, it didn't turn out exactly the way I had it pictured in my mind, but I think I would have to have studied art for most of my life to have it turn out the way I saw it in my mind. In my mind, I was having like happy Bob Ross moments where, you know, things just appear on the canvas just because you say that they're there. <laughs> Anyway, I'm dipping my the side of the brush into the paint and then tapping it off on the side of the vase or the mason jar vase to give some texture to the vase. And then I decided that um, I didn't want to have the vase sitting there like it's just floating in the middle of the air so I wanted to draw or paint some fabric so I chose this really pretty chartreuse color um, to try to paint some fabric uh, underneath the jar and uh, if you stick around towards the end of the video I think you'll be able to see the colors better um, I did this project at night and um, so when the daylight hits it, it has a very different color to it. It's way more, um, you can see the pearl in it, I guess. So I'm going to take these pointed shears that I got from Dollar Tree. I picked up these florals right when Dollar Tree was putting out the spring flowers and these these are some peonies I'm using the shears to cut these but eventually I do switch to my wire cutters and what I'm gonna do is use the shears to poke a hole a small hole in the canvas and then I'm just going to take the stem of the flower and run it um, through the hole And you can see um, in the back, um, you can try to use tape to hold this down. I tried to use tape, just good old fashioned scotch tape is what I had on hand, but it was not strong enough to hold the flowers down. So I just went about arranging the flowers. Um, they stay pretty much where I wanted them to stay. 
I did uh, end up using some hot glue to keep them in place in the back. And now these lilacs, all the floral, florals are from Dollar Tree. And I don't know what these things are called, but um, <laughs> I wanted to use the whole bunch, the whole piece of floral. So I didn't make a hole any larger than I made the rest of, um, or I didn't make a larger hole than I did for any of the other flowers. And it fit just fine. It was a nice snug fit. So this is what I have so far. I put the flowers on the bottom to kind of make it look like the flowers had fallen down. But there you can see where I put the hot glue on the back to secure the florals in. And all you have to do is peel that off if you want to change the flowers out. And then I uh, had some of this purple or lavender colored raffia that I got from Dollar Tree and I wanted to tie a bow. So I tied just a simple little shoelace bow and I trimmed down the sides of it and I'm just figuring out where I wanna put it and I used hot glue to glue it down. So I took this video um, during the day so you can see um, the paint is way more pearly looking in the light, in the daylight. Um, I decided to trim the outside of the frame with some pink um, bling that I got from Dollar Tree as well. You can use the lace trim, that would definitely give it a more farmhouse feel. Um, but I wanted to use this pink bling and I really love how high those florals, um, that greenery goes up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Thank you so much for taking this time out to hang with me. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.